What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Dealing with a situation, man. About my garage. Shirley Fair Smoker strikes first time. My stupidity, but I'm going to explain it to you uh, in the future video. So just listen to the next video or the next clip and look at the video and look at my garage. You can probably already guess what happened. Shirley Fab got me. All right, we back, y'all. Y'all see uh, Big Birth out here, my uh, Shirley Fab. And here's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. See, it's, it's bent all up. Let me get a better view. You can see how it's bent up. I want him when you don't pay attention to this smokestack right here. The one that's on the uh, actual smoker. And you're backing up in there at nighttime. Long story short, uh, I broke the spring in my garage. If you don't know what the spring is, for the old school, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, where's the spring at? That spring right there, that coil was broke. And uh, yeah, they came and fixed it in the garage. Though guy was like, hey man, uh, need to lower it down because your garage is letting up too high. So, all right, cool. Three months ago. Anyway, uh, long story short, he lowered it a little bit, and when I was backing my smoker in there, it uh hit the tip and smashed. So, needless to say, I'm getting it repaired. Yep, look at the garage. Get put together, shaking my head. Yep, look at the parts of it. That's the old. I'll show you the new here in a minute. All right, y'all. Here's what a garage looks like with no door on it. Literally no door on it. Number my garage door open on it. I got my new door. Got a, got a, I ain't gonna say a hookup, but I got a, uh, a hurricane resistant door now, insulated, so now I can leave my door open. My door right there, going into the house, leave it open. And uh, I ain't gotta worry about no heat escaping my uh, garage, so I guess my money is well spent. Thanks, Shirley. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, uh, man, when you, you garage kept, man, you have to think about all that stuff. So it ain't nothing on Shirley, man. That was all me. That was all me. It could have been any smoker. So, food for thought. I ain't gonna say fun fact. Fun fact for y'all, dumb fact for me, is make sure you measure your smokestack and the lip of your garage. Um, I did in the beginning, but I forgot the, uh, the garage door guy had, uh, adjusted mine and let it down. I wasn't thinking about the smoker. Three months later. But anyway, I'll show y'all final the uh the final door and how it looks here shortly. Stick with me. Alright you two, we back. Final product. The door is back up. You see the uh big bird to sit now. Yep. See the fuzzy dice. You know what team that is. If you don't know, now you know. Yes, sir. Down here in Florida doing it. Back in business, man. I can pull Big Bertha out this weekend and do something more. Stay tuned, y'all. This your boy, Mr. B. This your boy, man. You see what happened. Cost me some money. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the whole door. It's cheaper to do that. Um, Long term. Uh, anyway, the door is old. And I guess that's my justification for me getting a new door. So... You learn, you live and learn. So it don't matter what kind of smoker you got. Make sure you measure the uh, the height of your smoke stack going into your garage or whatnot before you decide you want to make it garage kept. Anyway, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Dealing with the drama of owning a smoker and keeping the garage kept. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Holla at your boy.